okay before we begin make sure you that you subscribe to the channel for new content that we are uploading on here every monday wednesday thursday also don't forget to like our videos bookmark this channel and also check out www.djtcell.com you're a lesbian no you're not He's a younger lesbian. man you're le but i mean i'm gay so you don't you're non-title you know, no title that label. No, you know, so, so so but you wouldn't date a guy absolutely not okay. Hello and welcome back to Statistic TV. It's your boy Tisa, and we're back for another review today on Cell Reviews. And today we're, re we're reviewing Young Ma on her latest album, Her Story in the Making. Her Story in the Making actually continues on from the EP that she released in 2017. It's called Her Story, and pretty much her story was quite a good EP, in my opinion. The most standout track was J O O T D, which kind of parallels with some tracks on this album, especially Stubborn Ass. And literally, ever since the blow up of Young M.A. with the with, with a hit single "Ooh," which was kind of let's let's be honest, a kind of a a continuation of Young of Bobby Schmarder's hot N word, but that was released in 2014. Ever since then, she hasn't really reached much much music with this debut album. It's a 20 track album in which you can see why she done it in 20 tracks. She wanted to give her fans as much music as possible. There are some um, some fan service on this album. The production, in my opinion, I'm just I'm just gonna say alright. I do not I'm not I'm not really a big fan of the production. There were some tracks that were quite groovy. Smooth Criminal was one of them, but this doesn't speak for the rest of the of of, of the album's productions. I mean, you had. You had um, Mike Zombie and who's done works with Drake. We've started from the bottom being the most notable one, as well as Zaytoven, who's done tons and tons of work with, with, with Future. So those were the two standout producers on this album. This album really stood out to me because it, it really showed how young MA is dedicated to her fan base. I love the, the, the story that she was telling in here. It, it even got me theorizing that this is actually more of a relationship between her and her fans rather than her and an actual woman. I do also have a couple of swipes with the album. I didn't think it was well sequenced. I didn't think it was as cohesive as as, as it could have been. It, it was very cohesive, but I don't think it was as sequenced uh, as it should have been. Now I'm gonna go on to the track by track review to actually sh it kind of illustrate this 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 to you to to show you what I mean by in um by the sequencing of this album. The first, uh, the track opens up with No Mercy and this, I gave it an 8 out of 10. I personally felt like this was a great start to the album because a lot of people have been criticizing uh, Young M.A. on her rapping ability if she can actually rap because she does have a very laid back kind of style. With that kind of style, you can be perceived as lazy, as not really uber lyrical and she really brought it on this track. The come up was a great follow up. Uh, I gave it a 7.8 out of 10. The come up really just really just uh, cements what she was about and what she is in the industry to do big was also a, a kind of reminiscent of ooh but a lot more um i would say a lot more swagger swaggered about it because this is uh, pretty much her own own track without actually ripping off anyone anyone else's work i would say that this is her original track if, if that makes sense cold world i really down i did, really didn't like the song i do understand the sequence of your of events following up from big and this was the only criticism i have of her in terms of storytelling i mean i, I don't really have any criticism for her in that department but i would have really liked it to see how the challenges the challenges that she faced as a uh, as a uh you know as, as as a woman who likes girls and you know especially speaking on the Koda, Koda black event which happened i think that could have run really well here in cold world but it really didn't it was really underwhelming the instrumentation was really not 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 to my liking i gave like i said i gave it a six out of ten petty wap was following uh i gave this a 6.5 i don't really think petty wap I, I I didn't really know where she was going with that. I personally just gave it that. that the, the lifestyle, I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. I really I really did like this one because she became really vulnerable. Uh, she really she really continued the story on from Cold World. Like, like I said, they are really cohesive story wise. But as you go on, I'm gonna as we go on to the as we continue with, with the review, I'm going to actually show how this kinds of falls apart in some areas now the lifestyle like like i said she was very vulnerable she she explained why she why she is gonna turn around 
and not be as humble as she used to. She's been hurt quite a couple of times. People have taken advantage of her. I like, I really enjoyed this track. Smooth Criminal, I gave it 7.9 out of 10. I really felt like this was a really a really good building from um from the lifestyle. It really expounded more on why she doesn't feel a need to change. Her life in this point was uh was at a high this is where i believe that she met the woman that she is going to speak about in the next track which is stubborn ass which i gave 8.5 out of 10 stubborn ass was in my opinion incredible storytelling i really enjoyed how um the playful factor of it in which she's asserting her dominance and also saying it in which you know you can anticipate what her partner was possibly saying and was possible and was possibly doing to her to make her react in this way so i really loved the how open this was um how open this was iron id i felt like this was in the wrong place for the album i don't think it should have come right after uh, uh stubborn house i think this should have been a lot earlier maybe right after big uh, and then because big and cold world don't, don't, they don't necessarily have kind of the same message so iron id would have would have been likely to follow that but i still gave it a 7.4 out of 10 I, I still thought it was a good song she like i'm like should have been the track to follow stubborn ass because this does continue on to give that kind of playful relationship that 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 these two shared um that these two shared i gave that like i said a 7.9 out of 10 i gave it a 7.9 out of 10 and it it, it really suggests how it really does play into realism as well because you can relate to this track on so many levels a lot of people a lot of people can actually relate to this track because this is something that they may do with their um with their couple or with their sorry with their spouse or with their girlfriend or what or boyfriend or whatever so i really like that num i felt was 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 a bit of a mess in my opinion it was seven out of ten because after we had the uh, after we had the kind of prelude with with stubborn ass and then the kind of flashback with she like she like i'm like i felt like this would have this should have been a lot more emotional about it but she focused too much on drinking um so she focused too much on the side effect of what or, or, of how this made her feel like in terms of drinking herself down rather than actually focusing on what uh on 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 um what what she was actually feeling rather than talk about okay this is why i am going to drugs or i'm going to more detail she only gave a little bit and then yeah i'm going to medicate myself because this isn't i didn't really like how she did that and plus the instrumentation didn't really help um to really sell this message it was a missed opportunity because she didn't dive as deep as she did in stubborn ass to describe the relationship and describe her trying to get that back i felt like she should have done that bipolar was a good follow-up though and, and it was a good play of words of of course she is now numb and she is tired of being numb so she explodes plays a play, plays on her words so i i gave this a 7.4 because it does give the context as to why you would feel numb and why you don't want to feel numb as I, I, I should say bleed on the other hand i i didn't this segue is when i began to think that this was in regards to our fans i didn't really like this track here um because the instrumental the main criticism is based on the on the instrumentation not really the story because the story was quite cohesive with the previous tracks um bipolar but the instrumentation as i felt like it was really overpowering over young ma she it was as if she was struggling to get her voice over i didn't really like that i, I didn't I, I think that they should have probably redone this and try and level her voice with the instrumentation or maybe just reduce it a little bit so that you can hear young ma more um no love i felt like she came between she like i'm like and numb i think that this context of her childhood of her flashing back into her childhood would have been better served to um so that we can understand why she went bipolar or it could have even worked um between numb and bipolar as well um but i like i said i felt like this was an op op opportunity miss i gave it a some a seven out of ten simply because of the fact that not only did they place it in the wrong area i say because this track does talk about our childhood a lot they also butchered it in terms of the instrumentation i didn't really know what emotion that they were trying to that they were trying to sell over here i didn't really 
I wasn't really emo- as emotionally invested as I was when it came to she like I'm like and stubborn ass. I wasn't as emotionally invested. Car confessions actually won me over again because this was when I really understood that this sh- that the woman was actually a, p- a personification of her fans and the tumultuous way that they have had the kind of frustration that the fans have felt towards Young MA for not releasing new music since uh, her EP, her story, and how strong that EP was to them and it's led to this so the car conversions was basically a fan service to and in response to this particular frustration so uh by her making it like this it does change the narrative a little bit and it and this is when my theory was like what kind of submitted i gave it a 7.5 like i said this should have come right after bleed i believe um foreign and nan complete fan service i gave it seven out of ten again they, they, they were good cuts but i felt like they it could have been I, I i know why why she did that because again more songs for the fans but i think they should have come probably right after sober thoughts and before the outro because my header was a great capping off of this for for me for you to go from car confusions to my eta, I think would have been a, a greater conclusion to the to the to the story that I think that she was trying to sell here. Because I and with my my hater, I gave it a 7.3 out of 10. Simply because of the fact that in the end she asked, Are you ride or die for me? Like, would you stay forever? And then her answer was yes, which is in in reality, this is her fans because her fans, no matter what, even with the lack of music, they still go out in numbers to support her. They still, you should see a young MA show on YouTube or something. I've never been to a show, but the fans are always out in full support. They are the only time I, I probably could have actually had a, an, an opportunity to see her was when she was performing alongside Pusha T and and um and amongst others in 2016, I believe, when she was in Birmingham. I think so. Um, but that was when I saw that. Or, or, or was that New York? I'm not too sure. Um, but anyway, like the fans were always out in full force. Um, no, my friend was promoting. Damn. Yeah. No. Um, yes, this was in New York. Anyway, the fans were the the fans are always out in full support, buying her merchandise, buying her tickets to our show and she could literally talk of this album and be well made for the next album in my opinion that's what my hitter was and it should have followed right after car confessions uh sober thought i gave it 7.7 .7. this was a great sobering finish into the whole album bringing everything everything into into conclusion i felt like the instrumentation the instrumentation was a bit better here because it did strike a chord it did try to get you to emote a little bit and relate to to the fact that she out of all of this she's now starting to understand that um she's now starting to understand her growth uh her place in the industry and pretty much it really became it wasn't anymore about the relationship that she shared because i don't think that that, that relationship even existed i thought it was just a personification of her and her fans so it was a good capping off because there was no mention of any relationship right after uh nan and my hitter there was no mention of, of that afterwards um cr- crime poetry was the last track on the album which was the outro i gave it 7.9 out of 10 it was just as strong as no mercy um and it kind of does a, an, a really good job into getting you to anticipate the next project that young ma is gonna drop this is a lot better than some of the long-winded albums that i've heard such as Rolling Papers 2 by Wiz Khalifa, which was released last year, didn't really like the album. There was no cohesiveness. There was no cohesiveness to it. It was. It, it was just here. Here. Here are a lot of track. Here you go. You're not going to hear from me for a while. The replay value on that album compared to this one is non almost non-existent. I do think that this album may struggle for replay value, but if you're a young MA fan, I think you're going to appreciate it, especially if you do think that she is talking about the relationship that she's had with her fans rather than an actual person i do think that there is a lot in here to unpack but it's just the instrumentation for me that really lets this album down i think that she could have capitalized well on that overall like like i said the the sequencing could have been a lot better uh in my opinion the, the instrumentation could have been a lot she could have paid a lot, a lot more attention to it like she did with stubborn ass as well as she she like i'm like as well as big as well as the come up as well as my hitter as well as silver thoughts but the rest of the track it just felt like they were just there just to feel you know just 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 to fill a gap and that's the one thing i didn't really 
like about it um oh uh but she done really well on this album i would recommend that you stream it only though i if you're just a new me coming in just a stream it for me um not really a download um but that being said but that being said i'm just gonna bring this review to a close overall the scores add up to 70 percent i do think that 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 is the young ma's uh, i mean this is for a debut album it's not bad but i personally think that she can do and really up her game to a level i really would have really would have li liked that to really talk about the kodak back situation and put it on wax uh, uh especially when kodak was talking about how much he wants to have sex with her and she's not even attracted to men at all she's still a virgin so for that to happen to you uh, like i did I'm, I'm really shocked why she didn't really go into that on this album but i can understand because again like i said it was more of a fan service to so say thank you for being a f um fans onto her and just like that we're gonna bring this review to a close thank you for for, for checking out this review i'm curious to know your thoughts did you lo love it did you hate it is young ma gonna go on top share your thoughts and opinions in the comments below and like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next review have a good day. Peace.